In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the keyword Go used in Microsoft SQL Server's Management Studio and a couple of their other SQL editing tools. The keyword Go is used to separate batches of SQL code. A batch of SQL code is one or more statements that should work as a group. So we see two statements here, declare a variable with a integer value of 10 and then print out the variable. If I highlight those two statements, they perform the action of printing out the variable's value of 10. These two statements are part of the same batch when I highlight and run them. If I actually run the entire script, they are also part of the same batch. If I don't highlight anything in the script, it, it runs everything. Of course, I could highlight all the lines. It does the same thing. Now, if I put the word go in between, what I have done is I've actually created two batches because the keyword go is a batch separator. Each batch has a single command. Okay, now the top batch, the first batch, has two commands, or should I say two SQL statements. But on line four is another statement, and you'll see that I get an error message when I try to run this. Although the first two statements run, the second, or the third statement, I should say, the, on line four, that's a SQL statement, go is not a, a SQL statement. That does not run because variables are only good are available for the life of the batch. As soon as the batch ends, that variable is no longer available. Take out the word go and it works just fine. Go is used to separate batches of SQL code. Sometimes go is required by just the, the syntax of SQL. For example, when you create views or stored procedures or functions or triggers, Microsoft demands that you create the um, those objects in its own separate batch. In that case, you have to put the word go in front of it or just make sure that that's the only statement within the script. The script is a SQL file. And in this case, I have only one command in it. That SQL file to create the, the view. I run that, it creates the view. If on the other hand, I have other statements in that script and I forget the word go, I will get an error message saying that the create view must be the first statement in the query batch, demanding that I make two batches of SQL code, one to do the first part and one to do the next. And of course, if I had other views, oops, not sales, it's called orders. I could put a bunch of them in one single script as long as I use the word go to separate each of the batches. So that's how go is used. Sometimes you'll see people interject go all over the place in their script and often not even it's not even necessary. One thing I have noticed is that that's a good idea if you tell the system to like use a particular database. the word go directly after that command so that the command completes successfully before it moves on to the next bunch of statements. One other kind of bizarre use of go, we'll use it very often but occasionally you can, is you can tell it to perform an action multiple times. Like in this case I'm telling it to perform these statements I have highlighted four, five, and six, lines four, five, and six, five times. Not very useful most of the time, but that is the other use of it. And do keep in mind that once again, Go is not a SQL command. So if you're submitting code from an application, like you're building a custom application and you're submitting SQL code, don't use the Go inside that application's code. That's not what it's for. Hopefully this is helpful. Take care. Thanks for watching.